What is up guys, my name is Pocket Island and today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to make a Minecraft multiplayer server as well as how to put a Minecraft multiplayer texture pack on as well. I'm going to be walking through it step by step and it gets kind of complicated in one step and other than that it's pretty much simple. So without further ado, let's get started. Now first of all guys, I want to show you guys how to quickly make a land server. A lot of people might not know, you just hit escape option, right, open to land and start land world and that is how you make a quick land multiplayer server. Now let's go on to the real stuff. Now the first thing you guys will have to do is port forwarding and this is the most annoying part of this kind of process and it might be kind of hard and you might not be able to do it. If you cannot, you can just use some other program. But yeah, so the first thing you're going to do is go on your router's kind of control panel. So for me, I went to my web browser, type in 192.168.0.1 and it may different, be different for you guys. You guys will have to check on your kind of router manufacturer for that. And first of all, you want to log in. Okay, so after logging in, you want to look for something called port forwarding. So for me, it's an advanced port forwarding to the left and here we go. So I'm going to scroll down and kind of go here. So first of all, we're going to type a name for our Minecraft server, so I'm going to type in Minecraft server 1.3, this does not matter, it's just for you to keep track of your port forwarding. And then you want your computer's name, find it, so you can put the IP in right there. And this isn't your kind of internet IP, it's more of a, let's see, how can I say, it? your router's network IP for your computer. So now you're going to open up ports 25565 for UDP and TCP. After that's all done, all you gotta do is hit save changes, and it should work perfectly fine. Now what you wanna do is go on minecraft.net and simply just download the minecraft earnscore server.exe, and once you downloaded that, you just wanna go to the folder you downloaded it into. Now you want the minecraft server.exe in its own folder, because after you run it, it will create a bunch of files. So we're just gonna run this really quickly, if you open up like that. It'll create its own world and prepare a spawn area. Once this little thing loads up to 100% and says done, you can just close out of it. So let's just wait for that to happen. And there you go. So here are all the files that you will need for your server. So your world files, server properties, and everything. Okay guys, so another quick thing you guys want to do is with your Minecraft server up, you want to go on this website called TheGooGetSignal.com and then you guys want to go type in port 25565 and use your current IP and hit check. And that will check if your port is up and it's open. Now if it says no it's not open that means you guys did something wrong with the port forwarding and you go back and you guys will have to fix that from there. For me, my ports are open so it's all good. So now you guys will want to put your texture back on. So with your Minecraft server closed you guys want to go to your server properties and this will open up all the kind of options you guys can change. So here you can change your like message of the day or uh, maximum players allowed on your server, whitelist, and all that. So I'm going to turn whitelist on. Actually, I'm going to leave that off, actually. And let's see, where is texture pack? Here we go. So here is the texture pack little um, option. So now we want to go to your texture pack download. So here I'm using Jokercraft um, Lite. You guys can, I'll put a link in the description so you guys can use it. Now you want to right click the download button or whatever, and then you type in copy link address. After that is done, it will open up the properties again, paste it just like that, control V, and hit save, and close out of that. Now you guys want to go to your server executable again, run it. And there you go. Now you guys want to go to multiplayer, hit direct connect type in localhost. And if you have your, if you want other people to join your server, all you gotta do is go on to go on to Google to tell me what is my IP, and give that to them. So let's join the server. And there you go. So I am logged in, and now I will get a message saying this server recommends the use of a custom texture pack. Would you like to download and install it automatically? Just hit yes. And there you go. As you guys can see, Dokecraft has automatically been loaded. It's uh, it's a quick download. It works excellently. And yeah, it's really simple. And if I exit out, I'll be restored back to the regular Minecraft texture pack. So that's about it, guys, on how to make your own Minecraft 1.3 server along with having a server texture pack. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, be sure to comment down below, and I'll try to help. Thank you for watching. My name is Pocket Island, and that has been a tutorial on how to set up a Minecraft 1.3 server.